Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I'm really excited today. We're gonna to take a look at two different products from Xreal, the Xreal Beam Pro and the Xreal Air 2 Pro AR glasses. So Xreal is the market leader in AR today, and they really are doing the most at improving their products and making the AR experience the best it possibly can be. Big thanks to Xreal for sponsoring this video and sending these both over for us to check out. Now with the Xreal Beam Pro, it's a spatial computing device. Yes, it sort of looks like a phone, but it also can film 3D video and take 3D pictures to be viewed on your AR glasses. Now, I personally feel that AR is the future over VR. VR headsets are just too bulky, a little bit too heavy. Now with the Air 2 Pro glasses, they are very similar to just standard glasses or sunglasses that you would wear. And then when you combine it with the Beam Pro from Xreal, you really leap over a lot of hurdles that uh, AR has currently. So in this video, we're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box of both of these products, check out some of the specs and the design, and then of course, get some hands-on with the AR headset and the brand new Xreal Beam Pro. Let's get started. And here they both are from Xreal. First of all, the Air 2 Pro, which is our AR glasses, and then the Xreal Beam Pro. They did send the 256 gig model. To begin, let's take a look what comes inside our Xreal Beam Pro. Sliding this open, and there it is right away. We're gonna set it to the side for just a second, build some suspense. Finally, in the box, you get a tool to open the micro SD card slot. Amazing that they include that for some expandable storage. Uh, you do have just your standard booklets, getting started guide. And here is our Xreal Beam Pro. Let's take it out of the plastic. I'm just too excited. Let's let's get into it. Taking a closer look at the hardware, you'll notice two USB Type-C ports, and I love that Xreal included that one to charge, in case you'd like to charge while you're using it, a microphone, and then another slot for connection to our Xreal AR glasses. Moving along on the right side here, we do have our power button, our volume rockers, and this little shortcut button. We'll talk about that in just a second, but I do really like the orange accent against the white. Up towards the top, just a microphone and another speaker. Along the left side is where that micro SD card slot is for the expandable storage. On the back, just some light Xreal branding. And there it is, our dual 50 megapixel camera system. They are actually 50 millimeters apart, so very similar to how your eyes are going to be as opposed to other phones where all the lenses are crammed into one corner. And this gives it a much better stereoscopic uh, effect, so a 3D-like effect. So now very quickly, let's grab our Xreal Air 2 Pros and check out what we get. Opening it up, a really cool design on the overall box, and we are greeted with a case. Really great that they include the case for your glasses so you can protect them while you are on the go. We have our nose pieces, getting started guide, and a nice microfiber cloth. Opening the case, there's our glasses. There's also a braided USB-C to USB-C cable with an angled part to connect to your glasses. Medium nose pads are installed, but they also come with small and large to make sure you have a comfortable fit. They also provide a prescription lens frame, and you can customize the lenses according to your needs. A quick close-up of our displays that will be at a 120 hertz refresh rate. Also, the nose pads are really soft, so should be extremely comfortable. On the bottom right, you've got a microphone, you've got your power button, volume rockers, and those open ear speakers. You have open ear speakers on both sides, and then on the left side is where the USB Type-C connection is. And with all of that tech built in, the Xreal Air 2 Pros are only 75 grams. It's actually pretty crazy how light they are and how sleek they still look. And we're all set up with the Xreal Beam Pro and a very familiar look, especially considering it runs Android 14. You do get a 6.5 inch LCD screen plus a 4300 milliamp hour battery with 27 watts of charging at the bottom. And it has a more than capable chipset with a Snapdragon 6 chip and an IP54 rating. Now that we're all set up and ready to go, let's get the Xreal Beam Pro connected to our Xreal Air 2 Pro and check it out. I'm really excited. Let's get going. Xreal Beam Pro and Air Air 2 Pro are designed to lower the AR entry barrier, making AR products more accessible to a wider audience. It's really easy to use and learn and a lot of fun on top of that. 
So let's put the Xreal Air 2 Pro on for the first time. And I do have the cable connected. Pro tip, just throw that cable behind your shoulder and it's really comfortable. It doesn't get in the way when you tilt your head, anything like that. And wow, these are actually really light. Uh, it's super comfortable. The nose pads have a nice soft touch feel to them. And again, they sort of just look like regular sunglasses. So if we take our Xreal Beam Pro, it really is just plug and play with our glasses. So if I do just plug it in, it will turn the glasses on automatically and start their Nebula OS, which is their skin on top of Android. And since it runs Android 14, it supports all 2D apps from the Google Play Store and runs it in the 3D space on your glasses. The home screen's really intuitive. Essentially, you have all of your apps in front of you. You can swipe left and right between them. You can even swipe down to get to some more options and a lot of information. And if you swipe up, you can even get to your most recent apps as well. So a lot of quick multitasking. And yes, of course, you have all your favorite streaming apps, including Netflix and Spotify. And while you're running an app, you can actually just press the home button and it will bring up your apps list on top of that app. And then when you select another one, it will open side by side and you can quick swap back and forth between these. You can resize them if you need to. It's actually a really cool, fun way to multitask on such a large space. There's two built-in screen sizes of the Xreal Beam Pro, a medium at 101 inches and large at 130 inches with an equivalent distance of four meters. You can also adjust between 91 and 222 inches. The Xreal Beam Pro is actually the first AR device to pass Google's XTS test, which ensures compatibility and stability with the apps. Now it isn't quite a phone. Yes, it has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 where you can connect other accessories to it, but you don't have a phone number on it, so to speak. You have two different modes that you can use, anchor mode and follow mode. Anchor mode will keep the screen in a specific place no matter where you turn your head, whereas follow mode will have the screen follow wherever your head turns. It's nice to go back and forth between those depending on what I'm doing and the situation I'm in. Now, something really cool and useful that the Air 2 Pro from Xreal has is electrochromic dimming. These are the world's first AR glasses to achieve mass production application of electrochromic dimming, which enables full scene, all weather use, depending on the type of light in your environment. There's three levels of adjustment that will affect the display effect on the lens itself. And so if you're outside getting some work done, you can actually turn it up and make sure that you don't have too much light coming into your eyes. Or of course, if you're in a darker setting, just watching a movie all cozy on the couch or maybe even on an airplane, uh, it's really great to be able to adjust at three different levels. So I'm gonna go get some lunch. And while I'm walking, I actually was able to watch Netflix the entire way. It was actually really crazy. And I got a quick email along the way that I just had to read. I didn't have to reply. If I wanted to reply, I could type on my phone and send a quick email out. And of course, I can still see where I'm going, so I can avoid obstacles on the way if there's a tree or maybe a pothole or something. It's very easy to see. Now, on my way to pick up lunch, I also saw some really cool trees, some really nice tranquil nature, and even in just a random sunflower field. So stopped to get some of that spatial video footage and even some spatial pictures as well that I'm gonna be able to check out later, and we'll see a couple later in this video. Now, after picking up lunch, this is one of my favorite things, is that you can watch content while you're eating and even just see your food. I'm, I've got some chips and guac in front of me here, but I was able to eat my entire meal all while watching my favorite YouTuber. Now, after I got super full, so decided to just kind of relax a bit, laid down on the couch and played some casual games. It's really great. You can actually do game streaming, whether it's Xbox Cloud Gaming, NVIDIA's GeForce Cloud Gaming, etc., and play those games. Or, of course, games that are within the Google Play Store. Those are all at your fingertips. And with that Bluetooth connection, you can connect a game controller and play all of your favorite games with a gamepad. It's fantastic, great way to relax, have some fun. Oh, and if I don't just go pick up lunch and I actually cook at home, it's fantastic because you can change how light the background is. So if I'm going to have tasks to do, say I'm cooking some breakfast, making an egg, then I'm able to watch content. I've just got the news running and I can hear it. So if I look away, I can still hear what's going on. But then while I'm waiting for something to cook, I can look back up and actually watch and enjoy my content. It's, it's actually incredible.
Now I can use the Xreal Beam Pro to connect to my glasses, sip on some coffee while I'm reading through the news. The Xreal Air 2 Pro features Sony's latest micro OLED screens and they are calibrated individually to address issues that common AR glasses have such as color deviation and lack of detail in dark areas. These are the world's first AR glasses to achieve two Rhineland's Eye Care certification and when connected to the Xreal Beam Pro, the colors look fantastic, they're really nice uh, saturated when I'm playing games and there's a lot of detail when I'm watching videos. Overall, I do see a lot of value in the Xreal Beam Pro. It not only powers your AR glasses, but also helps save your own phone's battery. It doesn't distract with texts or calls, and if needed, you can use it as a battery pack to charge your actual phone if you need to. At the price point of $199, it's a really great solution and solves a lot of those problems that other AR glasses have. And I also have to say the quality of the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses has been fantastic. I love the displays, they're huge, it's really smooth, I can sit there comfortably long term and I don't get dizzy and it actually will be very light on my head so it's really hard to notice even when I'm walking around. So that's it from me on the Xreal Beam Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. A great compliment to your AR glasses, especially being able to film in 3D. It's so cool to be able to relive those moments. But anyways, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're picking one of these up, again, I see AR as the future. Uh, these glasses are getting lighter, they're getting smaller, they're getting just like normal glasses. There's a lot more to come, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and as always, Thanks for watching.